guys, we're gonna have a. Oh, I wonder if you got that. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. We're gonna have a bit of a um, tarantula and spider day. I got a few who could do us some feeding. I've got a couple who need rehousing. Like two or three. Uh, got a little bit of mold in the house, so I'm just gonna completely overhaul the whole thing. And um, some of them I'd like to just, don't know, change around a little bit. So let's have a look. Um, you have to forgive me if I'm not absolutely up to date on um, all of the names, tranchers. I love keeping them. They're really great, but they're not my thing. Primances are my thing. But right, let's get down to it. Let's see what we've got. I've just dug my uh, Formix Plus Cancerides out. Uh, my Haitian Brown. Um, we're going to completely redo the house, so I'm going to make a new house, uh, and then I will transfer her in, um, and I will show you that. So here's what we got, it's a bit simple because uh, I don't have too much stuff to deal with, but I've got a hide which goes into the substrate, it's just cocoa fibre. I've got some wood chips I might stick on top just to make it look a little bit nicer. A little water bowl, uh, fake plant. And the hide goes all the way into the back, open. Um, I'm just going to grab those wood chips and then we'll pop her in. Get out! Get out! Get out! Out! Here we go. Don't forget, gang. Um, it's nearly ant day in the UK, which is nuptial flight day if you don't know. Coming up soon, it's looking like with the hot weather. Oh, hello. Come on, you've got a lovely new home. Um, which means if you're looking for your queens, come on. No, I'm not doing too bad. Normally you'd be going for this. Come on. Oh, a nice little hole for you. Um, yeah, sorry, if you're looking for new queens, uh, it's right around the corner. Leave her to. Oh, that's the same as me. Put some wood chips in. Just give it a bit of. Doesn't make much of a difference. Actually, these look kind of dreadful. She's about three quarters of an inch. I say she, I don't know. Um, I got one, she has a tiny little sling. She's doing very well. Yeah, Haitian Brown, um, from Ictopus Cancerides. I think that's how you pronounce it. Right. Put her back in her box. Ta-ta! Next, we got my Green Bottle Blue. Um, like I say, my tarantula names are not perfect. I know it's a Chromatopelma, but I cannot for the life of me. Um, pronounce the next bit. Oh, so let's get her out of our old tree. Crikey, she's a really wonderful spider. Unbelievably skittish, though. Um, but I'm giving her a taller enclosure with just more things to generally web up. Um, but getting her out of here might be a bit of a hassle. So I'm going to move that over there, so you can see. Let's have a look at getting her out. Sorry girl, I'm going to destroy, I'm going to destroy your house. Oh, gone. Can I start this side for me? She's not aggressive. She just... There you are. Up. They're really great climbing. They're sort of, um... In fact, I'm not sure if they're completely arboreal or terrestrial. They sort of need ground space. They're really great climbers. They like to make all these high webs there. Oh, you're not going to go over the lip, are you? Look at her walk. It's really, really beautiful when she walks. Look at the stunning colour. Wow. Again, this one's probably three quarters of an inch. Uh, 
I don't want to do too much. Come on, take something. Oh, well, she's biting into that, so. Oh, hello. <laughs> don't want that, don't want that one bit. No, come on. She was like, no, I don't think so. But, you know, that was fairly easy. Oh, there, that's, that's what we want. Pop that lid on there. Not the biggest house, but she's not the biggest spider. She will be moved up when she gets a little bit bigger. Um, yeah. Next, we've got another one of the old curly hairs. Oh, very young. Hopefully a male. Hello, mate. How's it going? You need feeding up. Look at you. Recent shed. Um, yeah, you're like, what are you saying? But still, Kelly has. <laughs> what a spider. If he's like any of the females, he'll rearrange this entirely. Brachypalmer Boplossums have a thing for rearranging their houses. He actually probably needs a big house soon, but this will buy. No, you don't want to go back. You got, no, you got a lovely new home. You like it in there, I promise. Right. Back off. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, lovely. Let's take this one away. Look how stunning they are. They're almost blue. Look at that. Still one of my favourite spiders. Favourite tarantulas, sorry. No one. Come on, boy. Let, let, let's get back in there. Right, next we, next we got my tiny little Chaco Golden Knee. Grandma stole a pocket piece. Um, she is tiny. I've moved everything out of her house. There she is. Um, Again, had from a really small sling, like a tiny, tiny little sling. Um, I imagine. Oh, look at this! This is a house. Something that I got from the BTS. Looks like something from Jurassic Park. Come on. Oh shit. We have a T-Rex. Is she gonna say it? Come on. Oh yes. I mean, ah. Oh. I got my butt in the air. I got my butt in the air. Can't. Well, that's terrible. Right, let's restart this completely. Let's capture him so that I can pop him out. Just feed him. 
Maybe if I put food in the tub and feed him in the tub. I don't know why this spider freaks me out. Out of all of them, this is the only one. Hogna. Miami wolf spider. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll get him out and then uh, get that total badass. Total badass. Hello, flower patch. Get in there. There's some lovely soils. Well, here's an idea. They say plastic bottles are bad for nature. Get some of this. Get this little half a Coke tablet. Oh, well, that went at an angle. Might have to cut some of this out. There you are. It's a funny little tube, I know, but I'm sure he'll like it. Look at that little cavern. Yeah, sure, it looks like a plastic bottle, but you know, why not? I mean, he's pretty much full size, he can get into little gaps. I do like these spiders. A few of these rocks sticking out. I think they look quite cool. They were meant to be together, they were originally an archway. But they broke on the way back from BTS. Oh, I could use that like another little hide. I'm going to keep that one. Let's pop. One of these little water, one of these little drinkers in. Don't know how long left this spider's got, it's quite old. A little bit of water. A little bit of drugs. Ooh. What's that, Mr. Spider? That's a very lovely home they've got there. Oh, I say. Oh, I say. Well, I don't know, I think that's too much. It's another one by the water. Oh, I've got stuff all over the edges. That's funny. Because you're scaring me. <laughs> Right guys, right guys, uh, the camera ran out of battery, um, I thought I'd crack on, so I've got another few done, got my Bracky Palmer Smithy boy, for sure show boy, in here, um, plastic tub, little water dish, it's not the most fancy, I will improve them when I can grab some more bits when I get paid, um, the only thing with this is the Substrate is a little bit damp, it'll be fine for a few days. Um, but I need to let it dry off as much as I can because obviously Smithies live in a dry environment and it was only that it was one of those blocks and I probably wet it a little bit too much. Um, bonsoir curly hair. This is my first ever tarantula. Bonsoir bop blossom. Looking lovely. Glorious.
anyway, looking good. Uh, I don't think I have any time to get a feeding in of any tarantulas today. Um, <laughs> the worst label of all time. It's an old label, but there you are. And do a trip a pay. Got a big new house. There's going to be a big tarantula when he's full size. Absolutely hideous. Hideous. Now this tarantula is truly skittish and aggressive. And so I think the common name is a giant blonde bird eater. A giant blonde. Brazilian giant blonde. Something like that. Nandu Tripepe. Um, I know uh, Mr. Dark Den. Petco has got one of these. Maybe he's got a couple. I can't remember. Anyway. Sorry guys. I'll stop doing that noise. Oh god, what a big nose I have. Alright guys, so there's more to rehouse, there's more to sort out, but I have time to do it now. So, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you thought. Um, tell me if you've got any ideas. And I will pop these fellas away and maybe do another rehousing video in the next few days. I still have left to go. What have I still got left to go? Oh, I put a load away. I've got my... Astora Parabana, I got my Nandu Chromatus, two Cyclist Sternum Fasciat and Costa Rican Tiger Rumps. And I have a really horrible feeling that they're no longer called Cyclist Sternum Fasciata. Fasciatum Fasciatus. Something like that. But I think that's changed, so I'll have to have a look up at that. Um, who else have I got to rehouse? Mm. Oh, my male Brachypalma or Rotom. Um, it looks absolutely glorious. Um, but anyway, I'm going to clean up this. Um, thanks for watching. Ta ta!